Hi there, and welcome back to another fun formational moment. My last several talks that I've done have been on decorators, unrealistic colors that Briar makes truly to be unrealistic. However, they make many colors that are unrealistic that we don't call decorators. And why is that? And what does that mean for the models when you collect them and show them and perhaps go on to sell them sometime? Well, I'm going to fall back kind of to the NAMSA rules because that's something that ripples out through the hobby and affects how we collect and how we show our horses. But they differentiate between decorators, which is what we've been talking about, that are completely non-realistic colors with what they call non-realistic colors. So a non-realistic colored horse shows in a different category in shows. They show not against breed standards, but against collectability standards. Many of the horses that I have here could show in a breed class, but they're kind of right on that edge there. So this horse is a wood grain. It's a technique that Briar used to paint a non-realistic horse, a non-realistic color on the horse to simulate the look of wood, to make it look like the horse is carved out of wood. This one probably wouldn't be able to show anywhere but in an unrealistic horse class, but we don't usually technically think of wood grains when we think of decorators, but they do fall into kind of that gray area of non-realistic, but something that has been made to look like something else. The rest of these four horses could possibly, I have seen pictures, show in a breed class. You could find a picture of a very dark horse, maybe even body clipped. You could find a picture of something that looks very similar to the red roan color or to the black Appaloosa color, but they're not very common. So these are examples of colors that you could consider non-realistic. So there's the red roan that Briar made, which is a base tan with a reddish mane and tail splattered with those reddish overtones. But red roan is truly a real horse color. It's just the way that it's been applied to the horse that makes it look kind of non-realistic. Same thing this, with this horse. This is a charcoal and a glossy. Real horses don't come in glossy, and real horses don't really come in charcoal, but there are certain ways that a horse could age where they would have a very dark body and a lighter mane and tail. So again, kind of on that edge there. This is what's called the Briar um, Splatter Appaloosa. So again, it's a pretty solid real horse color gray, but then this, this splattering of the Appaloosa color, and particularly the way it comes up onto his body and down onto his legs, is pretty non-realistic. So it's a nice sculpt, kind of on the border of realistic, but not really. And then the dapple black. So this is the Belgian, again, glossy, which real horses don't come in, in kind of a dapple black. I have seen horses that get very similar, very close to this color, but not quite. So if you have some of these really close, but not quite horses, there are classes and shows for you that are called non-realistic horse colors, separate from those decorators. So if you have these molds and you're showing, you can make that decision. Should it go in a breed class and be judged against breed standards? Possibly for the proud Arab foal, or should it go into the non-realistic color class and be judged against its collectability? Possibly, particularly for this Belgian. And it's up to you. The show holder and the judge probably won't tell you which class to put them in. It'll be up to you to decide according to what competition is on the table, what kind of reference photos you have, where to put these kinds of horses. So this is kind of wraps up my little series on the non-realistic colors. I'll come up with something else to talk about next time. So join me then. Thank you.